Hey guys, what's up? I got a little project going today, and all it is is a little solar still, or still, a uh, little solar oven I'm trying my hands at. Um, I got a plan, a couple plans off the boards, um, so I'm going to try one of those out, which is, that's what that's for. And then I had another box that I saw a real simple design for. I'm going to try my hands out at that first. And then probably move on to that. And maybe use that section as the uh, main piece. And then I could get another small piece for this. But, yeah, I'm going to just try my hand out. And I'll give you a couple little updates as this video goes on. So, there it is. Alright, so I just got done cutting my second set of foil strips from that roll of tape um, right there. Complements of 3M. Uh, my mom works at 3M, so we get a lot of sample tape stuff, and it's pretty nice. It comes in handy. And that's why I just jumped out here and started cutting strips. So I could put this together and at least try see what it, this does. See that down inside there. Still got a couple spots. I got I'm gonna go across on each side right here, and then fill in those two little blank spots over there. And I'm gonna make a couple corner pieces and all that stuff. Okay, guys. Here's what I have of. My solar still so far, or oven, and I got still got to do something to the inside on bottom. But as you can see, I think that the foil tape is a little bit better than the foil foil. And you can see that how bright it is inside there right now. Um, there's my shadow. Move it around a little bit, I guess. Um, but I'm going to put some corner pieces, or make some corner pieces that just go right here, that cover right here, but will flap over on each one of these sides. So each flap will have one little extra flap on it that's going to act as another little add on reflector on the corners. So, and then if I have to tilt it or something, I can always do that. And I was going to maybe make an extra little solar panel right here so I can tip it a little bit. And you can probably see the difference that just made. But tip it a little bit, and I'd imagine that'll do a lot of good. But I'm going to put some sand in the bottom of it right here, and then put another little... Uh, piece of cardboard with a window, just a little window so the heat can get up through it faster because the, uh, the sand will hold the heat a lot better and when you open and close it, um, it should um, keep it continuous in there or at least let the heat build back up a little quicker. Um, it probably also works the same way with uh, black ceramic tiles or any tile for that matter, or um, a thick uh, black plate, steel plate, that is pretty, pretty hot. So I'll give you more of an update here a little bit. Okay, so I have all my triangle pieces cut, and there's one, and I have a marking right here on the back, a little arrow. The arrow is going to go against this little section on this flap so when here's a better view of what that's going to look like that corner piece you can see right there um, it's taped on with just another piece of foil tape and you can see it if I bring this down it's gonna it's only connected to that one piece and this eventually is just going to connect 
under that piece. I can use another little piece of tape or something to get it all rigged up or whatever and take the piece of tape off and do this and that, but that's basically what it's going to look like all the way around. Uh, and I'll be back. So here is the solar still, <clears throat> or I keep saying still. Uh, here's the solar oven all kind of put together a little bit, just like the edges. You can see this little flap down here. That is the flap that goes right down along between here. I have these little fasteners or uh, paper clips that are holding this together. Once you get like three of the sides together, then you can usually just pull this one up and this will stay. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but most of the beam is concentrated inside. I want to try to make this back section um, maybe another little small panel that's kind of curved up so this panel reflects the sun. The sun reflects onto that onto that panel and then back up to that angle and then reflects right back down onto it. So I still got a little more tweaking. This is part one of two. I don't know how much longer I'll work on this today, but I'll definitely be making part two later today or tomorrow. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.